Hi guys, it's me, Melissa. How are you? Hope everything's good. Um, let me fix my chair here. Um, I want to, today I'm going to do the unboxing of the new Mythic Tarot by Juliet Sharman Burke and Liz Green with cards illustrated by Giovanni Caselli. And I do have it apart right now, but I will just show you. Here is the box. And here is the back. It has the insert for the cards, and it does have the tab, so you can get them out a little easier. You still have to flip them. Um, but on the back, it says... <clears throat> The classic bestseller, now re-illustrated. The Mythic Tarot was first published in 1989 and has been an international success with tarot readers ever since. The card... Oh, say hi to Tazzy. Come on, Tazzy, out of the way. Thank you, Taz. Um, where was I? The card illustrations depict the gods and goddesses, heroes and heroines of Greek myths. Familiar archetype characters whose experience perfectly mirror the shifts and patterns of our lives today. For this new edition, the entire deck has been re-illustrated by Giovante Caselli, an artist with a passion for the classic world, its literature, symbols, and myths. The new Mythical Tarot book explains everything you need to know to become an accomplished tarot reader. The new cards are stunning and breath of fresh air into life to this classic deck. With images rich in the philosophical insight, the mythical legends that depict provide wisdom, guidance for the seekers of personal growth so this was um $27 and it's by St. Martin's Press so that's that um the guidebook on this guys is huge I mean here's the guidebook and it is there's the back it has the cards on there and it is a thick one. Um, this this was copyright um, for this edition was two thousand eight. So she goes into the introduction, the origin of the cards. And this, like I said, this is a big book, so. And then it goes into the myth, mythic tarot. And then she goes into the major arcana. And she has one, two, about three pages um, for the each one of the cards in the major arcana. Um, she has a picture of the card. And then on an inner level. And then on a divination level. So that is basically how that's set up. Then she goes into the suits. And let's see here. So it's about a page and a about a page and a half of for each card in the minor arcana. I don't know if she has any spreads in here. 
Um, then she has reading the cards. What the tarot can and can't do. Um, making a relationship with the cards. Laying out a spread. Reading the Celtic cross spread. And then she gives an example of a reading. Example reading number two. Reading the planetary spread. And then she has her conclusion. Um, in the back, it has some notes um, for your readings, which is nice. To cop, you, you know, you could copy these down into your, your journal with that. So that's nice. So that's the book. Like I said, it's a nice, thick, heavy book. So let's get into the cards here. These cards are very pretty, guys. The illustrations, and they're very, very, very much writer weight. So there's the Fool. The only thing about this card, it does have um, some borders on there. Here's the backs. They're just a purple back with a little border on it. But there's the Fool card. The Magician. It doesn't have the numbers of the cards on the, the Major either. Beautiful Empress card. The Emperor. The artwork is beautiful on these. The High Priestess. Hierophant. The Lovers. The chariot. This would be very much um, a beginner duck. Justice. Temperance. I love the rainbow on that. How it goes in a circle. Very pretty. I love the strength card too. The hermit. Wheel of Fortune. And these are a good card stock. Um, they're not glossy. The Hanged Man. I have a kitten down here trying to play with my legs. This reminds me of Jesus for some reason. I don't know why. The Devil. Death. The tower. Looks like. Kind of reminds me of Poseidon. The star card. Beautiful star card. The moon. The sun.
judgment. Can you guys see the detail in the... This is a very old looking deck. The world. Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups. Three of Cups. The colors and the robes. The red, the white, and the purple. There's the four. Five. Six of cups. The seven of cups. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. What are you doing? The Ten of Cups. I love that Ten of Cups. It's so beautiful. Page of Cups, I love this too. Look at the colors in that. The Knight of Cups. The Queen of Cups. The King of Cups. Now we'll go into the Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. The Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Beautiful five of wands. I love that dragon. Six of wands. Seven of wands. Beautiful eight of wands. I love this nine of ones. Nine of ones. Yes, yeah. Seven of ones. Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Beautiful Queen of Wands. King of Wands. Ace of Swords. Of 
Look at her stomach. That's the one thing I noticed. The first thing that stands out to me is the muscles in her stomach. Or in his stomach. Must be a her. It's a her. Two of swords. This is such a creepy Three of Swords card. The Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Beautiful Seven of Swords. The Eight of Swords. Look at the... Nine of Swords. It's just screaming stuff. Ten of Swords. There's that stomach again. Page of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Beautiful Queen of Swords. King of Swords. And the last suit. The Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Look at his torn robe on the bottom. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful Ten of Pentacles. The baby. Like the mother and the father and the little boy and the, the little horse, maybe. I'm not sure. It looks like a horse. And the page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, beautiful queen. And a very handsome King of Pentacles. Well, that, you guys, is the Mystic Tarot. Or Tarot. But I like this deck. I think it's a very nice deck for a beginner. Um, the book is wonderful. So for a starter um, deck, it would be wonderful for someone. Um, so anyway, guys, 
If you like this video, please um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Um, if you have any questions or anything that you guys want to see in the uh, future, give me some comments down below. And I will see you guys next time. I love you guys. Hope everything's good with you. Bye.